Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda. Today we are finally getting to day 16 of the NYX Lippy Countdown Love Lust Disco Series here on my channel. I've been filming a new makeup look every day to go along with this NYX calendar of lipsticks. So this is today's look. Um, it's definitely not one of my favorites, but if you guys are looking for like a dark green Christmassy or even like a New Year's maybe look, this is for you. It's really simple. Um, it looks ugly at first, but then you like finish everything up and everything turns out just fine. Also not a huge fan of the lip, but we're working with what we're given, so. If you guys are interested in subscribing, be sure to click that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video. Also, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram at AmandaLouiseYT. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. Let's go ahead and finally get to day 16 now that it's the 20th. I'm really sorry. They're all coming. They're coming. So I am actually going to start this look without my face makeup done if you guys are new to this series. A lot of the time I do my face makeup first. Forced. We doing it forced. It's like midnight and I'm loopy as heck. So also ignore my face. She's angry. In day 16, we're working with we have this NYX Soft Matte Metallic Lip Cream in the color their cans, canes, oh, I don't know. I'm not gonna put this on first just because I have to do my face makeup. Oh my gosh, my face is freaking out. Send help. Because this color is kind of pinky, I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of requests for some green eyes. So I'm gonna do just that. Plus, I feel like this could also double as a Christmas look. And I want to give you guys more of those. Today we're gonna do that. I'm going to be using my brand new Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm so excited. Shout out to my girl Hannah. I feel like maybe I should turn the lighting down. I don't know. Let's see. When I zoom in, uh, maybe when I zoom in it's like good. This, the nice thing about it is I got full control. If they were off, we'd be having a rough time and this is why I was never filming videos at night. We're gonna leave her here. I feel like it's like a good, good, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, okay. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyelids just because I usually have my face makeup done, so that's usually, you know, done. So I'm just going in with my e.l.f. primer, nothing crazy, just so there's something on the lids. Should I do my brows? I always do my brows after. I never like my brows when I do them first. Nope, I'm not gonna. So we're gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I am going to start with like a like a nice transition. So I'm gonna go in with MFEO. I love that the colors are on this so much. And I am going to take it on my JH31 brush. Oh. I'm not using the color that I said I was going to use. I'm using Silk Cream, the one next to it instead. I'm gonna go over with MFEO though. Cause I think I like the undertones of that one better. You know what, maybe I'm just gonna start over. Take two. I'm actually gonna go in with MFEO. It's basically the same color. Bringing this down onto my lid too, just as a base. I don't know why it like doesn't look that even on my camera. Maybe the light is too harsh? Maybe if I go back here you can tell, okay. Also, I'm not, oh I am zoomed in all the way, what the heck? Oh I forgot, I was gonna do the reason I was doing this, well, it is like a dark look, but I was gonna do like, I was gonna tape off. We're not gonna do that anymore. If you want like a, a nicely cut line, you can tape your eyes, but we're not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna go in with Roxanne. I am going to be going in with this on my 
JH37 and I am going to be very lightly like putting it in my crease and then smoking it upwards just to kind of create that deeper reddish tone. Then I am going to go back in with the first brush and just make sure that there are no harsh lines blending this all upward. I hate how crazy you look with eyeshadow on before you like do the rest of your face and like your eyes, you know? Because I'm like, oh, that's scary. But eventually it'll be fine. You know, you feel, you get me. Now we're going to go ahead on to the lid. And to do so, I'm going to be packing on the color Enchanted, and I'm going to do so using my JH41. So it's this really deep, pretty green, this emerald green. And so I'm just going to start by packing it on my lid, and then we're going to smoke it upwards. I know, but I'm going to keep it, I want to keep it pretty, pretty uh, clean, kind of in the inner part here. Yep, see, we're not doing the face makeup first again because we have a lot of fallout. It'll look better, I promise. On to the other eye. So I want to keep this like pretty clean, but I am going to just like blend it out ever so slightly. Um, but still kind of keeping the shape that it has there. In going with more product, I'm going in with my JH, no, I'm just kidding. I'm going in with my E39 Buff and Blend to do this and kind of just smoking it outwards. I also kind of want to add like a shimmer to the lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my short shader E20 by Sigma. I'm gonna go into Diva and I am just going to kind of like pack this on the lid. It just kind of gives it like, you know, a little glow to it for the holidays. And I'm not blending this out. I'm just gonna keep it right on the lid. I went the wrong color. I also think I want to make my life difficult and I'm going to go into the black color abyss. I'm going to bring this on my E45 small tapered blending brush and I just want to like put this in the outer corner and kind of smoke it out so it's just a little bit darker even though it's already really dark. It doesn't do much, but you know. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead on the bottom lash line. And where's the brush I want? I'm gonna go ahead and take Enchanted, the green color, and bring it on my JH38 underneath my lower lash line.
I promise it's gonna turn out good. I promise. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my JH40 and I'm just going to kind of smoke this out. I probably should have done my face makeup before I did the lower lash line, but here we are. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup and everything, throw on some lashes. I'm gonna come back and I'm not gonna look like a raccoon. Alrighty, so that is going to be it for this look. It is still a bit dark on my eyes, and I think I would prefer if I used a longer lash. I used like kind of a shorter one. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Darks are out of my comfort zone, and I'm also not loving this tone on me. This pink doesn't do much for me. But hey, we gotta work with what we got, right? So if you guys are not subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post a video. Also, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram at AmandaLouiseYT. I'm going to be going live a bunch, hopefully starting like after Christmas next week because I'm super, super, super busy until then. But I'm very excited to get on there and talk to you guys for literally hours. Also, if you guys are not part of my Amanda's Lovely Little Fam, I am going to be doing like a New Year's giveaway in there. My Lovely Little Fam is like the best community of women on the internet so if you guys would like to join a strong community of strong and amazing women be sure to go ahead and join be sure to answer the question so I'm sure to accept you and if you want to follow me on Twitter go ahead and follow me over there as well I love you guys endlessly thank you so much for watching until the next video stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely bye